In this video, we're going to talk about loop instruction. Okay, so I'm going to say my string, and it's going to be type byte, and I'm going to say hello. Then what I'm going to do here, I'm going to say loop as a label, and inside of my loop, I'm going to say um, move edx. Actually, we can do this outside of the loop. Move edx. Um, offset of my string. And then call, call right the string is going to come here. But before that, we need to do something else too. Whenever you want to declare a loop, you have to tell it how many times you want it to loop. So here, how you do that, you move ECX to a number. For example, I'm going to say five times. I want to write hello five times. And I want to call CRLF to make sure each one of them is under each other, not in front of each other. And I'm going to say loop, actually, I'm going to say L1 and loop L1. And that's it. So let's go, go through the lines again. I declared um, my string. It's a type byte and it says hello. And then I move that inside of EDX because if I want to print any type of a string, I have to put it inside of EDX register. And then this line is important. Uh, I put five inside of ECX register because that is what going to tell the loop how many times it should, it should loop. And it's going to loop five times. And then I put a label to show the start of my looping. And L1 is going to be the start of my looping because um, I said go back, loop back to L1. And then it goes inside of the loop and it says call write string, which is going to print hello since my string is inside of EDX. And I have call CRLF to make sure there is a um, space, there is a line of space between each one of the hellos. And hellos are going to be one after another on each line. Okay, so now let's build. I have an error here. Move EDX to offset. So I'm going to run this. And I have five hellos here. Now, if I change ECX to another number, like for example, if I put um, 2 here, now you will see that I'm just going to get 2. I'm just going to get 2. Or I can declare another data and I'm going to say count. Um, it's going to be type D word and it's going to be 10 and then I can say ECX count. Then if I build and run this, I get 10 hellos.